Today, I will be sharing with you my favorite Apple Watch accessories that I use on a frequent basis in 2023. And I wanted to break down this video into three categories. So we're gonna be talking about watch bands, at-home chargers, and portable chargers. Starting off with watch bands, there are a sea of bands out there that you can buy, and it can be pretty daunting and expensive to find the right one for you. So I narrowed my recommendations to a couple of watch bands that satisfy most occasions, and they're from a really cool company called Buckley and band who were also kind enough to partner with me on this video. The first band I want to share with you is their black hybrid sport leather watch band. This one's a keeper for anyone who wants a do it all watch strap in one purchase. This one is it. It's made of a resilient silicone underneath that offers long lasting comfort and reliability for your wrist. While the top layer is made of a genuine leather to provide an element of luxury and style to your watch. This means that you can wear this watch band in the office, when you work out in the gym, or if you just wanna go out on a night with your friends, without your watch ever looking or feeling out of place. They also have a Mona hybrid sport leather watch band in a stunning pink color that offers the same sweat and water resistant silicone foundation in the inner layers with a leather outer layer to provide the same versatility when and where you choose to wear the strap. But let's say that you wanted a dedicated premium watch band that would only be used for the most special outings. Buckland Band also has some really cool options here too. I really liked their handmade luxury khaki leather watch band. It's a timeless piece that makes my Apple Watch appear more classy and work with more upscale attires. It has the perfect combination of CNC stainless steel connectors and buckles to add these nice silver accents to the watch's overall look. Depending on your preference, you can also get these leather straps in different colors on their website at the link below. Overall, Buckle and Band are known for producing handmade luxury and vegan leather Apple Watch straps that are affordable alternatives to the higher end ones you might find at the Apple Store. And best of all, those hybrid bands that I shared with you earlier can really act as the only watch band you'd ever need for most occasions, saving you a ton of money in the long run. All these bands can be found at bucklandband.com, so feel free to click my link in the description down below if you guys are interested in their watch bands for your Apple Watch. Thanks again, Buckle and Band, for partnering with me on this video. Okay, so now I wanna talk about chargers. The Apple Watch has a standard USB-C cable to charge your device, but if you're like me, I've always felt that that was a little bit too cable messy for my taste, so I spent a long time searching for the best and most versatile solutions for charging my Apple Watch at home, and I came across these two products. The first one is the Belkin Boost Charge Pro. It's a three-in-one wireless MagSafe charging stand, and you can buy this directly from your local Apple store in black or white, and honestly, it checks every box. It doesn't require routing an Apple Watch charging cable like other chargers you'd buy off Amazon for cheap. It's built right into the stand. It's also multifunctional in that you can charge your iPhone with MagSafe up to 15 watts as it's officially MagSafe certified and a pair of AirPods on the lower base or another phone that supports wireless charging if you have multiple phones. This charging stand has one of the nicest aesthetics in the market, making me want it to be a prominent part of my tech setups. It angles your iPhone and Apple Watch so nicely at a glance and the sand itself is pretty sturdy and it won't move on your desk when you really try to push it. The icing on the cake is that this charger comes with a 40 watt power adapter that ensures each Apple device placed on here is charging at the fastest speeds available. The one caveat with this device is that it isn't cheap. It, it starts at $150 and even saying that out loud it, it kind of hurts. It's expensive but I, and I was gonna leave this off of my list, but to be honest with you, I've used a ton of three-in-one chargers that have failed on me countless times. And this one has been going, I think, three years strong now. But let's say that this one is outside of your budget. I do have a second recommendation that is reliable and a little bit cheaper, and it's a three-in-one wireless charging stand from Satechi. Its sleek black profile offers the same promise as the previous charger, which is the ability to reliably charge your iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods in one stand. A key differentiator with this stand, though, is that you actually are able to remove the Apple Watch charger and bring it with you anywhere you go. And I'm gonna to touch up more on this later when we get to the portable charging section, but as of right now, what I will say is that this 
cannot be denied on how versatile that is, especially if you struggle to have your Apple Watch last you the whole day when you're on the go, you just have this reliable, portable charger with you on top of the fact that you can just plug it right back into the stand. So what's the actual catch with this charger? Because it is cheaper than the Belkin Boost Charge Pro that I shared with you earlier. And really it's the fact that this charger doesn't support fast charging for any of the devices connected to it. The iPhone charges at only 7.5 watts, the Apple Watch charges at only two and a half watts, and the AirPods Pro charge at five watts. To be clear, you need a charger that supports five watts for supported Apple Watches to fast charge from zero to 80% in about 45 minutes, which the Belkin one mentioned before does do that. But if you're not interested in fast charging and you just wanna save money and this charging stand is just gonna be something that's gonna be sitting at your nightstand while you sleep at night, it does exactly what it set out to do. It's gonna charge all of your devices to 100% at the morning when you wake up and it's gonna do this reliably and it's not gonna break on you. Okay, so now I wanna talk about portable charging. I think it's safe to say that when we travel, we wanna travel with the least amount of things possible. This can also be applied to how we want to charge our devices. This is a very affordable three-in-one foldable travel wireless charger from Zero Wireless for your iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods for only 50 bucks as of this video. You only need to bring one USB-C cable and a power brick that supports at least 20 watts, such as this tiny Anchor Nano charger. And this charging stand also collapses so small that it can pretty much slide into your pocket. I do need to preface though that this charger does not support fast charging for your Apple Watch at five watts, but it does offer three watt charging, which is a bit more than what you'd get from other chargers on the market. I don't have a problem with this as this stand for me is meant to charge all my devices at night when I'm sleeping in a hotel or Airbnb and it does this task very well. Remember that removable USB-C Apple Watch charger that I was talking about earlier in this video that was connected to the Satechi 3-in-1 charging stand? You can purchase a standalone device for $40 and that charger version supports fast charging at five watts. This charger is so tiny in the hand and it easily fits into your pocket. And because it supports USB-C, you can pretty much use any method of charging imaginable for you to charge your watch. You can boom this charger off of your MacBook Pro while you're working to charge your watch. You can boom it off of your iPad if you have one, or you can even charge your Apple Watch in your car if you have a USB-C charger built in. It is so versatile and I highly recommend it to anybody who wants the easiest solution to charge your Apple Watch anywhere you go. Anyways, those are my recommendations to get the most out of your Apple Watch experience. Be sure to watch my latest video right here and I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Peace.